and right, we're rolling. We're playing painkiller. No, we're More painkiller. Are we? And we uh, actually have the microphone near other people so they can talk. Yeah, they it's can not. talk. It's the jokes pain- and them. Now you have to listen to us. Ah. Painkiller pod cra- po- pod- podcast. Podcast. Hopefully you can it's hear me because I'm behind them. We should do a podcast. Just creeping though. up behind them. <laughs> this is a podcast. This isn't a podcast. And this is a. Podcast. It's a podcast with a game in the this background. This is basically what Yahtzee does. I don't know what that. Hey. Means. <laughs> Yahtzee. He does like a thing. Painkiller again. Yes. And. We're stealing his idea. Yeah. <laughs> I thought Yahtzee like draws all this shit. He doesn't record like, gameplay. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking we could about do that. Yahtzee's podcast thing a that he started semi, doing. A semi-animated. Oh, yeah, he calls it episode. "Let's Drown Out," in which he just like plays shit while talking to his buddy about random related news and stuff. And they basically ignore the game, except one of them's playing it, Dude. so if something interesting happens. Like, that sounds awesome. It. That's basically oh, what shit. we do. Are you sure they don't Chain gun. It? No, they don't. Fuck. They just what? don't pay any attention. Okay, to it. that guy should have. That go. That guy should have posed the threat. Shot him in the nuts. But he didn't. That was awesome. The Dude. big guy with a minigun is posing no threat to you whatsoever. Why is your? Uh, Seems a little unfair. Why does he hold his like chain gun or like? Gatling gun, like, as, as a dick? belt buckle. Because he can? <laughs> Maybe it's being supported by his pants. Maybe I don't he know. just has a wicked heart on and he's just holding it. Yeah, he's not even using his hand. You know, there, there are people that can actually, like, lift weights with their with their penis. Can you not even do one dick push-up? <laughs> can you not do, do you a even lift? push-ups? <laughs> There's a guy in China that lifts up with his eyes. This guy in China who... Excuse me. <laughs> he, he sticks hooks... I'm in his eye oh, socket, yeah, I've seen that. and then left shit. Oh, yeah. No thanks, They're dude. not sharp. Yeah. He just winds up catching on the tissue there. Still. And then he picks, he just stands up with it, like, from his eyes. Oh. Do the same thing with your glasses if you get it just right. Just <laughs> yeah, just, just, just do I that. Some Except dude. my glasses are all slippery, because... Well, let's I'm do crazy. a visual representation of what we're doing on a podcast. Yeah. Excuse me! So, okay. for I those of you dude... watching at home who aren't <laughs> watching... kind of retarded. Do you think in any other game you can walk through that? Uh, let's see. Yeah, walk through... Oh, me? wow. Oh. You are one skinny motherfucker. Oh, shit. Or you just, like, turn to the side. <laughs> Suck it in straight. This isn't just cool. straight. Fast. <laughs> God, uh, yeah. Hey, it's the Ow. Punisher! But like a really fat person. Oh shit! He let himself uh, go. Hey, like regular Punisher. Guy who's biting your asshole. He realized this movie was subpar and let himself go. Oh, John Travolta. <laughs> what? Was subpar? he in that? Yeah, he was the villain. John Tra- I thought you were gonna say John Travolta was the Punisher. <laughs> that would be an interesting. Thing. That would be the best movie ever <laughs> made. I think, up again. I think what's pretty perfect. What's the Punisher's wife's name? Uh, Diane. Something stereotypical like that. I don't know. What is oh, Doctor Bolt even? I don't. Okay. Um. <laughs> That's totally okay to say. Well, no. Well, he was in that dancing movie. No. He was the dancing queen. I thought queen. John Travolta was. There. John Travolta. No. He's going. You dude. can be married and still be gay. Yeah, that's the thing that can happen, dude. Look at the no way, Bachman kid, family. This kid has autism. What? Is, you have a you have a false sense of what gay means. <laughs> like, look at Michelle Bachman. You know Michelle Bachman is really crazy with public and shit. He's all that talk about how gay people should be put in like in camps. Oh my god. So that they can be de-gayified. De- have you ever heard? Pray her the gay hu- away. Have you ever heard her husband speak? No. Jeez. Flamboyant? It's it's beyond the stereotype. It's like you think he was being offensive by just talking. <laughs> you think he was doing a, like a parody of it? It's such a stereotype. Oh, you jump like, there. Oh, so this is the big gay hating Bible thumper. <laughs> oh, did you hear the guy from uh, Westboro Baptist Church? Like the main guy. I've heard that Fred Phelps is super ill right now. He is. I can't wait for him to die. And I'm <laughs> yeah. not going to that's like the him. one kind of person that's like, you know. If someone dies, you're like, oh, I kind of feel bad because they died and like family and stuff. But fuck that guy. He was a dick. He deserved. He was. And you know what? The, the worst gay. part is, is that he was actually reading the Bible. Yeah. That's exactly. <laughs> he, yeah. They don't they like think they're immortal or something? No. No. I don't know what I've heard. I don't even think that they themselves think that they're saved or anything. They think everybody's fucked. <laughs> yeah. Which is probably true if you read the Bible literally. Christianity. That's basically what it is. <laughs> You're gonna die like right here. Oh my god. Like, a werewolf. Oh shit, oh shit! Oh boy, beware those fire... tanks. Boom! 
Well, that oh, that'll solve the explosion with a gun. Oh, how old is this game? Um, I don't know. Could you believe it came out last year? Is it? How yeah. times have changed. Did you get killed huh? by one of newer than Half Life by quite a margin. Yeah. But it doesn't look as new as Half Life 2. It reminds me of Doom with really good graphics. No, this has got to be post Half Life 3. Yeah, I think Half Life 3 is not real, though. No, it is, though. It came out last year. <laughs> My brother plays it on Steam all the time. It's not real, though. That's why it's post! <laughs> that's. See, that's a joke that my brother would die laughing at because he changed a program on Steam's game to Half-Life 3, so every time he starts playing this one game, it says Half-Life 3, and he's I like, hee hee. That. That's just like Master Troll. I would absolutely I would absolutely do that if I like had a Steam following or something of yeah. just people who were like, oh, check out his Steam group. Oh, what's he playing? Half-Life 3. It's oh. Like, on Wait, Twi what? <laughs> on Twitch, whenever I do anything, it always says I'm playing Sonic 06. <laughs> no wonder you get no views. Oh, I never see Apple. I have that. Ah! Oh yes! Ah, you I just have got it tased. on Xbox. I have a friend who has it on PS3, and from what I've heard, the PS3 version's even buggier. Oh, it's way worse. There's a PS3 version of Sonic 06. Yeah, oh, yeah. there is. Yeah, it's 360. He said that when he tried to play it once, he only lasted like an hour before he fell through the floor for like the third time on yeah, the level and game. That up. game is is retarded. Unfinished. We need unfinished is putting it lightly. Unfinished is what that game is. That, that game, that is, like game a, is a beta test is an alpha test. It's basically an alpha with textures. Oh, yeah, exactly. Is there a But secret? what you should oh, how does he get? You should totally bring, I'll bring my capture card. And we'll play Sonic 06. We will do a let's play on Sonic 06. I would love to do I would that. love every second of that. Because when I, I got that game for like five bucks oh, on yeah. a clearance bin. I'm surprised I was like, it costed you that much. I was like, I think I've heard this game is shit. I it's, should it's buy it. It's name one fun. of the worst. It's like na number four or five it's in the pretty, worst games ever. It's pretty bad. Yeah. Along Superman 64 wasn't that bad. Superman. It was pretty fucking bad, dude. I mean, like. <laughs> it was more functional, I would say. Yeah, I would if say. They, if they just took controls. out those ring stages, they fly through all the hoops and shit. And they the would have no thing. game. It would be no game. No, there's no plenty game. of game beyond that. There, what, those weren't supposed to be there. They were put in there. Oh, really? Oh, shit, there's a turret! Yeah. Apparently. Yeah, you've, I think that thing's one-shotted you like three times in a row. I've seen an interview with no, like, like, one five, of the guys at oh. Titus who made that game, and he was like, what are you talking about ring stages? <laughs> it just broke. It wasn't in <laughs> it the original broke. design. It wasn't That's supposed awesome. to be there. That's funny. Yeah, we should totally do Sonic 06. And we, we would have to play it all the way through. Yeah. All three campaigns. Yeah, that was... Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> That's something we would have yeah. over the game drums, because they didn't finish it. They didn't. I was wondering if they were going to keep going with it, but that's when they uh, that's when, stopped everything. That's when John left. That's when John Tron left. And yeah. I was like, hmm, wonder why that ended. Uh, I think he was oh. just, I think he just wanted to go to John Tron. He didn't want to do Game Grumps anymore. Yeah, he still waited like I mean, 10 months before he started uploading that. Yeah, that's true. Same with Ego Raptor though, like, the only recent thing he's done was for Starbomb. Yeah, he hasn't been doing much lately aside from that. Yeah, no, just, I think it's because they realized, hey, let's just keep Red doing this room. game drums thing. Red room! Red rum! Red room? It's Mordor. It's Mordor. It's Mordor! Boy, <laughs> yeah. Wait, are you saying Mord Mordor? Mo or it's, a, it's, it's Red room. But it's Mordor. Oh. <laughs> oh. But it sounds like Mordor. 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 Like a, I don't even know. Is that like a? Is that like a downtown Brooklyn or The Bronx. Like a, from the Bronx. Or is it a Boston? Uh, I think both, because <laughs> it's all the same. The Americans. No. I was arguing with somebody on the internet once. She was like, Oh no! You I feel arguing with someone on the internet. I'm I do, sorry. I do that a lot. I get a kick out of it. I'm sorry for you. I don't know if he was trolling or not, but I still enjoyed it. Yeah, so he was. Whatever. Probably. <laughs> It was, was someone like, on the internet! Come on! Yeah, likely, but whatever. The point is, he was like, Americans don't have different dialects. They Excuse don't have me. accents, and I'm like, Excuse me. I'm sorry. Have you been to any two Boston. states? Boston. Yeah. Have you been to... Go to, like, Chicago, and then Chicago. go to Louisiana, and Chicago. see if you hear... See if you can even understand the two. Hey, even One of them you will not be capable of understanding. Uh oh I gotta go down to the hole! Not oh, the hole! No. 
Where are those? Ah! Oh, Who I shot? What is that from? Uh, Silence of the Lambs. Yeah. Oh, okay. I really need to watch that uh, sometime. <laughs> I, I still haven't seen the whole thing. I just know the quote because everyone knows. What was the, uh... Oh, what was so the first scary movie time. you ever saw? In what was it? What was the first scary movie you ever uh, saw? Oh. The Scooby-Doo movie and when I was, when like, was seven. It? Okay. What, the zombie island one? My, no, like, when the, the real, real life the real one. one? Yeah. Oh, that. That movie was oh, terrifying. Oh, the live action. I just remember um, that movie looking like shit. Oh, actor picks up the actual dog. Yeah. The whole dog. The dog was scary. CGI. That movie was scary. I bet you if you went back and watched that, I bet you that CGI looks fucking terrible. Oh, yeah, totally. Oh, but when you're like I thought it was bad then. Yeah. When you're six, <laughs> though, that's terrifying. The first scary movie I ever watched was uh, Sleepy Hollow. Same here. Because I was at, like, a meeting for the Taekwondo thing I was in. And, or it was, like, a, a Halloween get-together. And we watched it. And as soon as the witch's head fell off, or, like, that old lady went... <laughs> And her head came up, I, I screamed, I peed my pants, and I ran the fuck out of that building. I was like, I think six or seven. I that was the scary. I still can't watch that movie. I just can't. The first. Oh, the Dark movie Crystal. Guys. That might be the scariest movie I've seen when I was little. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The one with the bird people and like the weird weird puppets. Yeah, that movie. No, I, was, I think that movie I was think less. Scooby Doo might be first, but I think the Dark Dark. Souls Crystal, whatever. The Dark Souls Crystal. Dark That's Souls. pretty much it, yeah. But uh, another one, the first I've... one I saw was CG Hall as well, and I think oh. I was about two and a half. Oh my god, you poor <laughs> bastard! I was literally <laughs> hiding under the coffee table watching it while like one of my parents was watching it on TV. Or something. Wow! I remember the first time I saw. I think one of my earliest memories actually was watching Godzilla. Yeah, I was like. Three. I remember, I was, I think I was around 8 or 9, and my older cousin took me to see the X-Men. And I was like, oh my god, this movie's like, I can't see this. I was like, it's PG-13. I can't, I, I'm like 10 years old, and my my 16-year-old cousin's taking me to see it. I can't watch this. You're not my parent. And, uh, like, another, probably, honestly, it's still freaking me out, and I'm fucking 19. I watched this movie, like, a year ago. It was called, I think it was called The Greys. And it, it was like um, the aliens show it's, up. Were these cows? Oh, just yeah, in the I field. know. What you're talking yeah, about. yeah. The greys. What? These cows just eat in the field. It's the greys. Okay. <laughs> 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 oh, I totally missed it's that. The, I know all all of you did, and it was just like it's the best movie. Well, I was like, I don't know any grey cows. I know why. It was the best movie cows. in the past year. In the past year. <laughs> Cause dude, I heard, but I heard. They they released it in Japan first, Ooh, and I heard that one was pretty scary. But the the American one was pretty homogenized. Wow. Do you want know a better scary movie? What? Birdemic. Oh. oh. I watched that. I haven't seen the I, sequel. I did though. watch. There's a. You saw the excuse me. Day? Birdemic two. Yeah, that's the. To, to really? quote Frozone. To quote Frozone from The Incredibles, just let it go. Let let it go. I'm one with the earth and sky. I think you might be thinking of the wrong ice person. No. No, I mean, yeah, I'm thinking of the I'm guy from sure X-Men. I'm pretty sure you're thinking of the guy from Adventure Time. No, I, obviously, the, the Iceman from X-Men and also... Uh, Top Gun? Top Gun, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? All Iceman-related movies. Yes. And, the, the, and there's the one, the Iceman Cometh. And, uh... uh, and, uh Arctic Base Zebra. What it was called? Arctic based zebra. Arctic based zebra. I think oh, it's Arctic it base. I thought you said zebra. <laughs> based zebra. No, it's zebra. They pronounce it zebra. Oh, okay. It is called. It's called a zebra. It's not called a zebra. Oh, yeah. yeah. The American yeah. zebra. <laughs> That's pronounced zebra. It's a zebra. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's. I have been to Africa, so I do what I want. <laughs> have you? Oh, yeah. yeah. When yeah. did you go to Africa? I knew a Dude, guy. he freaking met the Prince of Nigeria or something. The King of Nigeria? What what you that that sounds like an email scam. <laughs> no, it's, I have pictures. <laughs> Dude, haven't you ever gotten that email? Yeah, I have, actually. I'm the Prince of Nigeria and I want to send you a bunch of money So or send whatever. me your, my, your credit card information. And I'll just give you all the money I did Nigeria. it. I did it. And goddamn, prison was awful. <laughs> it was a bad time. A Nigerian prison would actually be probably the worst thing that could happen to you. I can't imagine. As a white, as a white person? As yeah. a white, middle class person. 
What country was it that recently denounced homosexuals as, like, needing to be culled or something? America? Uh, somewhere in Africa. No, not Russia. <laughs> Zimbabwe. Was it? I think it might have been Zimbabwe. Are you serious? It might have been. I just named the first African country that popped in my head. I can't remember now. It was an African Somalia. country. Somalia! No, it wasn't Somalia. Niger. <laughs> nobody goes to Somalia. No. Also, it's nobody kind of pronounced dangerous. Niger properly when they were After a kid. After Black Hawk Down came out, nobody wants to go to Somalia. I wonder why. Huh. It's a good question. Oh my god. What's that turret? I don't know. You should... What turret? Huh. Well, something shoots me as soon as I have... It's a dude. I saw him. It's like no, right like... There. Yeah, go around the corner. That. Oh, there's two like right there. Through the window. What the hell was I talking about? Through the wall. Africans? Oh yeah, African when did you country. go to Africa? Oh, yeah. I, I knew you were pre-Africa when I knew you. Oh, excuse me. I'm <laughs> pretty sure yes. you were Excuse me, I might be fucking 75, but I don't predate the continent. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone in the history of anything is post-Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe so, not when they named it, but when know, it was there. The <laughs> origin of humans was Africa. <laughs> it's true. Uh, ah! Hit it with your dick. Dude, why did you go to when and why and where? Uh, uh Africa. When? To answer the where. <laughs> A little more specific. <laughs> uh, I went Nigeria. to Nigeria. Okay. Did yeah. That's the king. Yeah. Why? Because, because my dad was working there. Doing what? Fixing humanitarian work. I no, he, he's building a school yeah. or some shit. You, you, I don't know. No, Feeding I, the homeless. I, I did help schools while I was there. It was awesome. That's why I got to meet the king. Was it, or Did you just meet a guy named When schools? was this? Uh, I was nine and eight. I don't remember you mentioning this when you were 13. Being like, hey, I went to fucking Nigeria. That's because I didn't like, want to go I told you You were so excited Wasn't about I going. I was telling you about going to Australia that year. Yeah. And I, you didn't say a fucking thing about Africa? Hey, they moved. Yeah, That's the perfect hey, time to chime in and be like, hey, yeah. I went somewhere that was not fucking <laughs> frozen all the time. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't want to burst your bubble. Dude, yeah. I, to I told you before, Tom, that that's something that you should just bring up to people when you meet them. Hi, I'm Tom, and I've been to Africa, and I met the king of Nigeria. It's like, oh. it's it's He's not the king of Nigeria, though. He's a king? Yeah. <laughs> They just have two and they're always arguing over the throne. He, he could easily just be a mayor who called himself king. But well, as far as stories are concerned... It, I find it hilarious that it's that, and then there's also literally the Nigerian prince email scam thing. Yeah, Same yeah. country. Uh, Tom actually helped them develop that scam. Yeah. <laughs> he was, was there, nine it's years like, old. you know what you could do? You know what? You probably... The you're at fault for that. He was like, I wonder if Dude, I can you're... convince this white guy that I'm the prince of Nigeria. <laughs> and he was like, holy shit, I need to try and convince the world that I'm the prince of Nigeria. And then, and then Tom was like, I'm nine! <laughs> I don't have a credit card! I pay in gum! Dude, you actually don't even know how excited I would, I would be if I turned out to create the the email the scam. Niger the email that would be, scam. Oh, dude, it's like you would be yeah. famous and infamous all at once. Dude, no, I'll be so happy with myself. It's like, yeah, I was nine. It's like, it's like, thank you for helping our country become a better place for the children. Thanks. You should ask all the white people for money. We'd be happy to help. And nobody does it because they're like, oh, it's a fucking scam. <laughs> the whole UNICEF thing's a scam. Conspiracy. Wake up, sheeple. <laughs> I hate that. It's like one of the oh. things that pisses me off. Wake up, sheeple. Wake up, sheeple. Yeah. Skeleton. related. They're all heavy. Oh, that's a yeah. That's what I was thinking of. Before. <laughs> it's like they have a giant minigun in their. Fat. Do they have like executioner hoods on? Or are they like those? Are their, they're bikers. These guys are bikers. Are they? Yeah. That's, yeah. that's why they carry on motorcycles by their belt buckles. <laughs> okay, I wasn't certain if it was it's that. Like when you're a kid and you have a broom and you're like, it's a it horse. Was, like a big game. The same mask. thing. They just have like a toy motorcycle. So in there everyone for in this prison is a biker. Yeah. Yeah. This, yep. this game is racist against bikers. This, ra this bikers game is the one percent. Prejudice. Look at that green thing on uh, the shelf. One percent. Right. Green uh, thing. Uh, oh, someone screamed. Someone screamed. Was Thank it you for that for informative info. Yay, taser. That was like a woman scream. Don't tase me, brah. They're, oh, they're roping a woman. Go stop it, man. You're the hero. Isn't that cowboy? Like even in prison, it's just a BDSM club, and you're, like, breaking it. <laughs> and killing everyone. <laughs> to be fair, they would enjoy it. Yeah. Look at all the chains and shit. This is totally a BDSM club. I'm guessing this was the woman who was screaming. 
Uh, yes. Is they did a forced uh, sex change. Force. <laughs> Use would, the force. That would be <laughs> that would be like the sex. worst type of torture. You're like would laying there and like we're gonna turn you into a girl. It's like oh no, because <laughs> like you'd be aware the whole time they're just like rearranging your no. junk. No, okay, okay, I think okay. you could just go with vivisection. Then is the worst possible. Good job. Thing. That would be so weird. They just have you chained up, though, and you're just like, ah, and they're just, hey, drink, like, drink this water and take this, like, estrogen pill. And you do that for, like, six months or whatever it's required. <laughs> oh, my God. Just hormone replacement. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then you're just like, oh, God. And then your body is ready. And then they just cut your dick off and just shoot a vagina on it. <laughs> just, they like, shoot with, a like, vagina. With, like, a staple gun. <laughs> Yeah, he's good to go. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, like take that like end a, up a flashlight or something. It's just thinking like, like a potato can that fires <laughs> vaginas. <laughs> what do you mean shoot a vagina? On Explain there. the process of shooting a vagina on that. Well, you see, first you take the ovaries I also and you don't carefully think that's the rocket it in inside. Which they do stuff. Oh yeah, okay. I kind of think they remove your stuff first before they start hormone replacement. Therapy. Red couches. I could that's be wrong. That's the point. That's, okay, it's look, torture. Look how high up these couches are. Uh, excuse me, have uh, you noticed the guys is, that you're shooting? Are you crouching, the or are you just couch? like two feet? Crouching. Are you just two feet tall, or the is guys, this just the BDSM I, club for giants? You're a little Mac, and you just snapped. Yeah. And now you got a big freaking shotgun. A the little, gun that shoots shurikens and lightning. Little Mac uh -oh. is only like... Oh, wait, there I think he's, Little Mac's like four foot nine or something. Yeah, he's, he's nothing, it's not that tiny. Well, yeah, helps. with that... <laughs> what the hell is going on? What? Fun oh my time. god, it oh my spins. Level. Never mind. Ridden, spin, spin. Oh my. <laughs> no, uh. Roll it up to the what viewers' the hell was imagination he what you were looking at. Yeah, exactly. Vikings and Giants? Mm, oh, right, Little Mac. If you look at that, uh, Smash Brothers trailer. Yeah, with that was Samus so funny. That was really funny. I like that. Because Samus a lot. is like. Samus is 6'2. She, she's like, yeah, six foot something. Yeah, no, that's, six that's my kind of woman. Is it? Tall, blonde, and. That'd be taller than you. Yeah, it would. But yeah, are you kidding? Dude, I'm like, look at us stand next to each other. Yeah, all right. For those of you at home, we'll put up a graph. <laughs> <laughs> we need a yeah. height chart, dude. I'm five nine. Oh, oh you can handle it. I'm six. Yeah. I'm like six two with my. So you're as tall as Samus. You're not six two. You are not two inches taller than my dad. I'm six one with my shoes off. Six one and a half with my shoes off, rather. My so, dad's six so, yeah, feet tall. Look at how He's thick these shoes than you are. I'm sorry. Probably about six two. Yeah, I'd say. If that. I stood up straight and shit, yeah. Yeah. I'd say so. I wonder so if you, any of that So you're as tall as Samus. Okay. And Little Mac is four foot nine. Yeah. So he's about as tall as Thomas. They're power couple. <laughs> yeah. You're just like Have you Mac. seen the shipping for those two now? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty adorbs. Yeah. Dude, I, I miss Snake v. Samus. Because that's yeah. the original power couple. <laughs> no, no, Whoa. no. Captain they're, they're... Falcon and Samus. Come on. Oh, no. come on. You know, the obvious couple is Mewtwo, Mr. Game & Watch. <laughs> oh, yeah. no. Ship it. Don't ship it unless it's Yuri. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Yuri? <laughs> Yuri's an astronaut. <laughs> He's also an astronaut. A just, cosmonaut, sorry. Just like Samus. Whoa. <laughs> wow. That's a segue. You just blew the fucking lid off everything. You just went full circle. Yuri Gagarin, original lesbian in space. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, honestly, there, did you know, uh -oh. there's genuine... What is he doing, riding a bull? What's going on there? <laughs> oh, he's chair. electric chair, okay. Hey. I told you this was a BDSM club. It's like weird kinky stuff <laughs> happening. Like hard there's hard. actually just like a machine in there that's just going... Can I get through here? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's a power fister from Saint nope. Guess okay. not. You're not tough enough for this BDSM club. You've got to turn the power off or some shit. Um... What was I talking about? Uh, you were space, lesbians. space lesbians. Space lesbians? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I may have accidentally <laughs> discovered one day that there is erotic fan fiction between Buzz Aldrin, girl version, and um, the other. The pig? Who? No. Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong. Oh. Oh, my God. And they're both lesbians. Gender bent? And they're in lesbians <laughs> together. It's rule 63 and 34. So. <laughs> uh. <laughs> The best part is, the third guy still wasn't involved. <laughs> well, no, because he was up in the capsule, literally as alone as physically possible. <laughs> in yeah, seriously. That's awesome. You get a time I break. remember Vsauce did a thing about that, where he's like, that guy was farther away from any other human than any other human has been. Because <laughs> he would have literally been, like, 
several hundreds of thousands of kilometers away from the Earth. Yeah. The moon's far away. Yeah. Have you ever looked at how far away the moon is? Uh, yeah. It's fucking far. I don't see anything that actually hit one. Like, it's really the far. Time when the things are on no, the you can't. You can't? No, that's, look at that. There's no way you can make that. You gotta go and... Can you... Did you shoot try out shooting the light. in the dick? Shoot out the light. Yeah. That way it's a party in the dark. In a parade. Try shooting out the thing that's shocking him. The hat. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Try, um... <laughs> we need, like, a disco <laughs> ball in this room. <laughs> okay, so shooting him doesn't do anything. I love Just raising gotta be, like, a <laughs> thing you have to do. Everything... Somebody! Somebody, go to game Facts! Somebody, oh... Somebody, hold up. Reroots! I'll bring up Siri. Oh, yeah, that works so well. Yeah, yeah, our track record is amazing with asking Siri how to do this. Siri's the best painkiller player I've ever seen. Oh my god, do we have Siri oh, Not available, I have to connect to the internet. Oh god. Oh wait, why don't I just go in here? Fucking Siri, why you do that? That's cool, actually. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Look at home, we're looking at spinny squares. That's so cool, actually. It is cool. Dude, it's like water, you're like... You're, 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 you're it's literally water. Okay, like watching turn. a slime mold grow and shrink itself. Slurp itself the back up. Alright, so I got Siri. Oh, they're all just spinning now. How do you get past the electric chairman in Painkiller? This worked really well last time, so it must. It's gonna work perfectly this time. If she starts showing would you BDSM you, clubs, I'm gonna laugh. Would my you ass off. feel the pain? Would you feel pain in the electric chair by Dante Rhodes? I guess it's a. I guess it's a novel. The electric chair, a, capital punishment, UK. Is the electric chair or the gas chamber more uh, no, painful? More painful. I would imagine a gas chamber being less painful. Well, I guess it depends on the Electric gas chair execution is. and overview. Excuse me. Excuse me. An uh, overview review. I'm surprised it didn't show you that article. Um, if Hitler told you to electrocute someone, you probably would. Yep. That's a good article. I've never read it, but that sounds like something it's, that would happen. It's a sociology experiment by, uh, I can't remember his name. But he was basically like, oh, I'm gonna put these people in a room and give them an authority figure who's telling them to basically just electrocute some guy over and over again. Yeah, and I he see found that. that most people were completely okay with. Yeah, it was Milgram. Stanley Milgram. Hey, yeah, that, that's up. a good one, actually. I love that. I wish that you could still do things like that. Now. <laughs> no, that's the most. Yay, I saved his life! That's Zimbardo? the most humane thing you've done. Zimbardo's experiment was great. That act that you just did is the most humane thing you've done in the entire game. Because everything else is. Uh, it looks great. You should hug it. You turned him into a yes. portal. Stick your dick in that, see what happens. Do it, jump. Do it, pussy. Oh, okay. See, it was the end of the level. Well, did you fail? Nightmare! Unlocked! I Finish the level thing. using Woohoo, only non-explosive weapons. Great. Double the ammo and ammo boxes. Yay! This game has ammo? That's badass. Yeah. Okay, and here's the thing I found out with these. these it, looks like an explosion. it looks like either a fire or an explosion effect. Are it like looks like so slime molds growing around, happen. looking for food, and then shrinking themselves or back up Or it looks like a piece of paper that's anything. burning, like, really quickly. Oh, I know what you I, mean, actually. So what do yeah. these do? Stop talking crazy. so I can talk! Uh, sorry. I'm sorry. Are you saying things that are yes. important? Okay. I guess... These cards down here are like one shot per level. And like these cards up here are like always in effect. Okay. So what do you got? One up there? Yeah. Here's, I got this one. Yeah, du uh, doubling the ammo boxes. Now yeah. you've got more ammo. And he takes half damage. No, this one, like, I use it. Oh. I got gotcha. you. it's gone. Which I never use. Yeah, of course, because why would you ever use the burn things that they give you? Yeah. I'd never Chapter 2, that. part 2, in the next part. In the next part? Oh. Jesus. Oh, no. Half an hour episode. It won't be any more relevant. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay tuned for the next part. Yeah, next part. Bye. Bye. Oh. Things. All the things. Um, I put my penis away, I'm sorry. Um... What? Uh, fuck you! Did we just break into the police station? Fuck you, bitch! Mm. Bitch! Just pee on you! 
Ah! You'll never catch me! Ah! <laughs> 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 oh, this is oh, until Thursday. <laughs> oh! This <laughs> is ah! She hit me. She hit me in the tip. Oh, that's scared me. Shit! Eat it, bitch! I'll run away! You wanna try? No. Are you sure? Yes. All right. Okay. I'm not gonna have this on my conscience. 